We're back at the Double D Ranch from last year. We came last year in June. Now it's April. It's one year later, and there's more people. And everyone's really excited. I know I'm really excited. And um, we're back, and the weather is beautiful. Like, we totally lucked out because next week there's actually snow in the forecast. And right now it's like 80 and beautiful. And tomorrow's supposed to be sunny and 80 degrees. It's amazing. And everyone, again, everyone's super excited. Um, we're hunting from recurves to crossbows, rifles, shotguns, pistols if we have to, just in case. You know, you might one might charge, you never know. But we're really excited and we're excited to bring you along the way. Okay, so we made it up to the lodge. This is where we're gonna share our stories, eat breakfast, and um, in the morning we're gonna gather here right before we go up, we'll kill some giant hogs, of course. And um, I already started a fire up there. If you remember from last last episode, I call it episode, last episode, um, it's the same pavilion, and all very similar to when, when we were here before. And soon we're gonna start dinner. It's chicken for dinner. Chicken. Or carrier pigeons, as um, at some Gold. type of fowl. Some, yeah, some type. <laughs> but we're excited. Let's eat dinner. So, right now, we're cooking dinner. Rick has been cooking for over 50 years. And he's a great, he's a great chef. And you can just tell by looking at the food, it's gonna be amazing. And um, we're all excited to eat. This is just already. We we haven't even been here for I don't know four hours, and we're we're having a blast. It's it's always fun. Here. Double D Ranch. I reckon, totally recommend it. It's good. Yeah. Tom, how you doing? I'm doing good. I'm just chilling out here by this fire. It's such a nice night. We're having a good time. Everybody's telling stories from previous hunts. And uh, we're almost ready to eat. It's just a good time. Oh, 
So what we're going to do is uh, Adam will take you up, he'll set you up. <clears throat> the biggest thing is we ask that you don't move, okay? Wherever he sits you, that's where you'll stay. If uh, we need to move you, we'll come and get you. That way nobody's walking into somebody else's shooting area and so forth. And we'll have you set up to where we know exactly where you're at. And that way it's also safe for us because we'll be out there trying to move hogs and moving around. We know exactly where you're at, where we can go and still be safe if you're in the spot that we put you in. Um, biggest thing, if you get up, a hog charges you, stand your ground to the last minute, okay? And then you jump to the side, try to get it to avoid it. If you run, you're not gonna outrun it, okay? It'll catch you. So just make sure you just stand that ground to the last minute and then try to get away from it, okay? Um, the hog may be moving today fast, okay? So you'll just have to be ready for your shot when it comes up because uh, the hogs lately have been moving pretty good. Uh, so just stay ready. Uh, when you see one and you shoot, and there's a group and you shoot, continue to shoot at the same hog that you shot at first, okay? Don't start shooting hogs because the next thing you know, you could have two of them laying over here. But sometimes they won't even show a sign that they've been hit. Okay, so just make sure you stay on that same hole. Once we hear you shoot, we'll try to work our way to you so that if you need help to go after that hole, if you wounded it, you know where it went, we'll take you to do that. That way we keep you in a safe area of shooting. There's also a big hole up there, a bigger hole. Okay, what's he look like exactly? Bigger red hole. Yeah, it's a bigger red hole. Any question on the size of it, because it's, it's going to be a pretty big hog. It's going to outsize the other hogs. First of all, you look at something that hog looks big. Let's let it walk, okay? Because we're going to try to get it for him. Um, anybody have any questions? Is that right? The hog is here. Yep. Any questions? All right. I'm going to take you on the hill. We'll get started. And we will leave you set for a little while. Just keep your eyes open once we set you up. So we started on the first hill in the preserve. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, that's the hill that not not many people like. Uh, it's definitely a little bit of a struggle, especially if you're not in great shape or have a youthfulness, I guess. Some people have some trouble with it, but it's not too bad. I think it's a good little hike and a little outing for everybody. Keep you in shape, get you wake, wake up for the morning and get you ready to go. So. Oh yeah. So at the top of this, there's um, at the top of this uh, little hill that we're going up, there's a watering hole, or what is that? Just a natural pond. Natural pond. And uh, the animals go to it to, to get water. And uh, what, kind of, uh, what kind of animals will be heading over to that area that we might see besides the hogs? Uh, if we're going over towards the hogs, over there is just hogs and rams, but in the area that we're currently in is the fallow deer, red deer, bigger animals like the buffalo and all that stuff too. So. 
Okay. Well, it's exciting. And what is the what is this mountain range you're actually we're in? We're at the we are in the mountain range. Yeah, right? we're at the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains. Oh, okay. this Appalachian. Huh? Yeah. Foothills of the Appalachian. Thought it might have been the Smokies. And if you look, if you pan over to these gullies, um, you can see this is some steep stuff. Um, you know, we're on the trail here, which makes it a lot easier to walk up. But um, I just wouldn't want to go running up the side of one of these hills. You know, I'm going to be huffing and puffing for sure. Fun and games. So what did you just spot, Alex? So when we were walking by, I thought I saw a rock, but it's I think I'm pretty sure it's a hawk. There's a hog. Right up there too. There's a couple, a couple of, them. of them up there. Oh yeah. They look mean. Yep. Look angry. Yep. Well at least they can be angry over there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm okay with that. You know it's glaciers. that we shot the hog last year, right here. <clears throat> this is my first time here at WD, and I tell you, it's worth it. Just to see the view, it is just gorgeous up here. I could live up here. We are right up on the crest of a big hill, and it's only, only way from here is down. And it's a, it really is very picturesque. Tree, in the trees, are, right there. trees are already uh, budding, and uh, it's a beautiful time of spring. So there's some rams up here, and uh, like in our spot, we're gonna we're gonna have to kick them out. I'm sorry, rams. Hold on. But hold on. Alex, move over a little bit. I want to get you and the rams. So we're out in our spot and 
As you can tell, everyone's hunting with something different. Me and my dad are out with our bows. My grandpa, he's going to be the designated caller. Um, most everyone else has muzzle loaders and um, guns. Some have one, I think one or two of them have a shotgun. So a really wide variety of weapons you can use here. It's, it's made, it's like really nice. But I'm going to get ready and put on my glove. Okay. I think we're ready. Let's, let's get calling. Let's go. Uh, I'm just going to shoot that first. The first one? Yeah. yeah. Congratulations, your boar's down. Uh, I tell you what, I feel like a kid on Christmas morning. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice boar. Single shot, 470, just dropped him right in his tracks. That's good medicine. Love it. What caliber bullet? This, it's a, I'm shooting a Hornady, 325 grain, and uh, 45 shot, and it just, boom. Wow. Like, drop a buffalo. Boy, it happened fast. Yeah. We, we came up over the ridge, there they were, we hardly, we hadn't called, we hadn't posted. It was there, there was the opportunity, and you, we just crouched down. I took it. And let them work their way up, and you took one. Look at that boar down there. That That's like, is a beauty. Like that saying, don't shoot, wait till the last day, something you'd shoot on the first day. Oh, no. I'm shooting them. That's a nice one. Wow. Thank you, thank let's, you, thank, let's you, thank work, you. Let's work our way down there and take a look at him. Okay, so we're in our spot still. We just heard the first shot. I think the hog is down. We're not Scan positive. this whole area, Tim. I'm trying to get some video. So we're in our spot still. We just heard a shot, and I think a hog is down. So that's really good. And this is my grandpa. He's the he's the caller. And um, speak up. We're gonna hopefully get a hog soon. Hopefully, a hog will come in soon. He'll call. Hopefully, it calls him in. Let's, Let's go. Do, let's get some calling going. Let's go. You wait for me to this? Oh yeah. Just gotta love this hog hunting. I tell you, he just walked right basically up to us, about a 40 yard shot, just one shell, just uh, like in his shoulder plate there, and he dropped right then and there. He's gonna be good eating. He's probably 150 or better. Couldn't be more proud. Good job. Just like the doggone little kid on Christmas morning. <laughs> <laughs> good job. Well, congratulations, Doug. It's your first hunt. One shot, one kill. Nice, uh, nice size Razorback. Like nice, a lot of nice chops going home. I gotta thank my brother and Tom and these guys to, uh, for inviting me on this, and I gotta thank Ed because I bought this 4570 from him. So he, he's part of this big as well as I am. something about being in the same spot it's like it's a lucky spot or something say something about being the same so this is exactly as hot as last year and you just showed we sat right down there when that all came out it was right around here he came, when he came out this is where we shot him i think it was on that tree right there and it's a good spot there's nothing wrong at this spot so we're excited and hopefully any minute any second it's gonna come out we're looking Let's see you then
Should we back off?
that shot happen. I was like, get down. I'm like, <laughs> my shot went down. <laughs> This ridge. They're, they're over there. Everyone else is over there. Yeah, but it's, we can still look. It's good luck. Uh, this is Saturday morning. It's about 10 o'clock uh, in, in the morning. We were sitting on this uh, uh, extended ridge overlooking a, uh, a hollow. Uh, uh, we saw the hogs coming. Oh, they were probably 150, 200 yards away. Uh, they walked in my direction. I was able to spot this uh, uh, classic uh, razorback uh, hog. It's what I was looking for. Uh, I had to relocate a few yards, probably 60, 70 yards. Uh, I was able to get a shot, uh, maybe uh, 50, 60 yards away. One shot, one kill. Love it. How heavy is that boar? Uh, the boar weighs, I'm guessing, uh, 175 to 200. Nice size, good eating. And nice long stewed on that. Yep, a lot typical, of typical Russian uh, snooter. Nice. Congratulations. Thank you. I think there's going to be more coming. Alex. Hold on. Hold on. Alex, he's coming this way around. Go head him off. Head him off, he's coming this way. Go ahead. This is a soil mite, it's a big one. They're related to ticks, they're in the soft tick family. There are ones that are in water, there are ones that just hang out in the soil. There's a lot of them that are way smaller than this tiny little orange dots, but they're pretty neat critters. Very red. Yes, Is they it, are. Do they have red blood like in them? If you squeeze them, yeah, they have their hemolymph is a little uh, orangish pink. Uh-huh, but, but they don't feed on humans. No, uh-uh. Well, that's good to know. They'll feed on other critters, I believe, in the soil, but not people. <laughs> Jamie's our resident biologist here and uh, entomologist and actually is.
close. I, that made me, that made me get going. But, oh my gosh, it was, so, it was like, he was, he was coming up, probably 20 yards, and probably, nah, probably a little farther, 25, 30. And um, he just like, he was like looking straight at me. And I'm like, oh my God, is this gonna be my moment of charging? He didn't charge, so I'm like, okay, that's good. But, oh my gosh, with that, that was, he stared me in the eyes, that was, okay. Okay, on to the next. Yeah, on to the next one. We're, we're getting close, we're getting close. Okay, we got him coming down the hill. Um, I hit him and we had to come finish him. Nice Russian Razorback. That's a beautiful high fur on his back. Um, about 180 pounds, give or take. Gonna be great eating and beautiful, tough, tough hawk. Good hunt. Good hunt.
Tim. Tim. Yes, sir. Nice to meet you. My name's Tim. Okay. I'll remember okay. your name. Yep. No, no problem remembering that, huh? That's right. All right. Let's now give, give, tell us the story. Okay, so. It was a day a lot like today. It was a day a lot like today. We were sitting, um, just waiting, and there, there wasn't a lot going on. We saw some, like, sheep, like, in this, like, little ravine. There wasn't a lot going on. And all of a sudden, we saw hogs come in, and then they went past us, and then they came back. And they kept, like, doing almost, like, laps. And finally, one came, slowed down just a little bit. How I, close? Yeah, really, like, five yards. Five yards. Right away. on top yes, of you. Yes, like, as far as we are together. And, um, like... He slowed down a little bit and I stuck one. It was a little high, just a little high. And he was running and everyone here, everyone at the Double D Ranch helped find him and a bunch of great people helped find him. Tim, Tim helped you, Tim right? Helped Specifically. Yep, Tim, yep. And we found him at this, at the bottom of this creek, like burying a bunch of leaves. And when he got up, he got up and I slung one right into the heart. It was a perfect shot. Go straight up the hill. Go straight up the hill. Always keep turning around. Okay, yeah. There we go. He's trying to, she's gonna try to cut him off. Be ready. Come over here. Come over here, Dad. Come over here. Come over here. Get closer. Oh, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Just wait, just wait. Found the hog. It's right there. Let's see if we need to bring a good shot. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Tom. Yes. Tim, tell us all about it. Well, it was a day a lot like today. So we're walking back and Tim saw this one. He says, get up the hill, get up the hill. I ran up the hill, hid behind a tree. Tim pushed it right around, come right up the hill towards me. And just as it come past the tree, I drew back on him and he saw me. He turned right around and just before he could take off, released on him. And he wasn't quartering away, he's kind of quartering towards. But where he went in, came in and took his, his lung out. And um, yeah, maybe he went 75 yards. Who spotted him first? I think Tim did. Huh? I think Tim did. What's that? 
spotted him first. Uh, no, you oh, spotted oh, him Oh, you first. mean over here? Yeah. 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 It, who did? You did, Dan? I yeah. think so, yeah. Yeah, 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 give, me, yeah give me a little credit. Gotta give you some credit. Gotta yeah. give you some credit. We're glad we brought you along. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we're walking back, and Tim saw this one. He says, get up the hill. Get up the hill. Oh, I see him right there. Yeah. You see yeah. him? Tom needs to be with us here. I just want to get a pig down. <laughs> I hear you. Where is he? He's right there. You see him? Oh my gosh. That thing is here. Is it just one? It's by himself. Long shot. Yeah, we're going to be stalking closer. Oh my gosh. He is here. Oh, there's two of them, there's two of them. There's one there's going two. up. Yeah, there's a little one going up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just grab your, grab your boat. Oh my gosh, Jamie, that's huge. He's way too far away. We got a red one. How far do you want him? Well, let's make a follow him. Yeah. Yeah. Good shooting, brother. All right, Jamie, tell me what happened here. Well, what Tim? Tim. Tim? Tim. Okay. There's Tim's and people everywhere. Well, he comes over. We're sitting on the other side of that ravine for ever. I don't even know it's like, what time is it? 1230 or something? And people are just, pigs are dropping all around us, and these pigs are running up and down this. People are popping them, and 
Doug got the first one up there on the hill and it's, it was like a war zone after that, it really was. And we were just waiting how many pigs I was tempted. <laughs> because they were just zinging by us like within 20 yards all over. And so Tim comes out. He comes walking. Thank you. Comes walking down the hill and he's like, are you the one they're trying to get the big four for? It's like, we got eyes on him. He's right over here. There he was. He started up there. He was kicking around. So he spotted him and he was brilliant stalking us in there like that. Man, that was nuts. And we made it from... The stock from all the way over there. Probably. Probably. Yeah, from the time we got up to the ridge, came all the way here and we stopped. Right. And that boar started walking down. Right. He's like, well, let's. Um, and then that was it. It was. It came down. I don't know how far that is. Well, Didn't matter. Uh, that's uh, 100 yards. Yeah, pretty close. No easy. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 Didn't look like that in the scope. <laughs> but I, I, I shot him and it's like his whole front shoulder, his whole head just went and he just dropped. And I was like, wait. All right, so we got out here about 8.30 this morning and we posted on a ridge, you know, two ridges over. And it's like a quarter to one in the afternoon now. So it was a few hours and there were pigs all over the place. And, you know, pigs were dropping left and right, and then uh, Tim here <laughs> came over to me and said that they spotted this big pig over here that everyone was looking for, but hadn't seen it yet uh, today, and I hadn't seen it, obviously, and then we stalked this thing over here, he led me right up to it, about 100 yards maybe, yeah. and I propped up against a tree, and one shot, and he folded up and dropped this is just a this is a new haven connecticut marlin 3030 so it was one of the last before the, the company was bought um but this is like my favorite gun uh i've always hunted with the 3030s like the winchester the marlins and they're just comfortable this one's heavier than a dead horse maybe this big but it's just such a good gun for me in the kinds of places that i like to hunt but i'm just stoked this is my first four hunt and this is my first boar, and I couldn't be I couldn't be happier here. How heavy is he? Oh, he's probably about. He's in the 400s. Maybe we'll just go 450. <laughs> just, to, just to be safe. I don't know. He's he's big. He's a big boy. Nice. I'm super happy with this. I couldn't be couldn't be. I wasn't sure if it was going to be a day where I just didn't want to show up. But thanks. Thankfully, these guys led me to him, and here I'm sitting in the mud. So he's uh, got a lot of European in him. Yeah. He's got a big head, and he's got monster cutters, and and uh, really a nice big boar. Beautiful animal. Yeah. I'm, I'm be happy Straight tail. Things. That's great. Lots of uh, reddish brown hair. It's a real nice color phase. A little bit of gray on his side. He's no doubt been around for a while. Yeah. Great big boar. So Huge so boar. Happy. Oh, oh, that's I'm great. To be able to have this opportunity to, to have them lead me to this thing and put it down in one shot, and that's it. And, wow. You know, it's lifting time. So one <laughs> one shot, put him right down. He, good placement on the shot, just dropped him. Which yeah. is this size of an animal, they can soak up some lead. And that was a nice one. Didn't and uh, really going, no, he, he just, just he just fell. fell. <laughs> Wow. Well, smack on. what a great boar. It felt like a good shot and with crosshairs, the scope's right on, and thankfully. Beautiful. I'll use it on him if you want me to.
gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, what? We're just doing little side clip stuff. Now it's my turn, and uh, I'm excited. This is always so much fun. I love being a part of it. I love trying to film the other guys' hunts. It is fun. But now uh, the guide is taking me to a spot where he's seen some uh, boars uh, bedding down. So they're uh, over one of these ridges, and that gives me a little bit of an opportunity to, to sneak up and crest the hill and maybe get within recurve range. So that's my hope, and that's what we're heading, and now I've got to stop talking because we're starting to get, I believe, close to the area where the ridge top is. Perfect. Let's do it. Let's do it. I can find him. I'll come back and get you. Okay. Bring you in. Perfect. Okay, so I think I have shot. It burst through the, the uh, layer of uh, the fall. It's kind of like a, a beautiful presence. The spring is here. It's pushing up through the dead leaves and just a vibrant color just a little bit of nature that you can appreciate on a hunt you know it's not all about just getting your animal okay it's all clean this is it right above this hill These ones, these, these two aren't super spookish like those other ones were. Okay. Well. I'll just follow you.
different shot. Nice shot, Tom. Yes. Thanks for going along. Of course. Right, let's go track this up. I don't think he's he's gonna go far. I think no. he's done. Yeah, he should be. But I, here's the thing. I was using an old traditional bear broadhead. And I really do love the way they fly. Yeah. I've shot a number of different heads before. Yeah. But those old uh, broadheads, those, I believe they were called razorbacks, razorbacks, with a bleeder insert. Man, they fly really well. And they penetrate great. Okay. They're a great broadhead, especially for a traditional bow. This is my old Browning Explorer. I love this bow. I love the style of this bow. I have a couple of these. And they just a uh, dream shooter, these bows. Okay. I will. I shot so many big game animals with these. They, they don't sell them anymore, right? No, they don't, unfortunately. But boy, for a manufactured bow, they just were to the level of custom. They were excellent. Yeah. I don't think this one's going to go far. Let's keep tracking. Right. Anyway, Tim, our guide, um, went out and scouted and found these uh, two boar that were bedded down in the gully in the shade. Now it's a little later in the day, the sun's out, and that's what boars usually do, seek cool shady spots and so he worked us around we had to go all the way around the ridge and come down the other side so we could crest up over the top and hopefully get a shot and uh, it all worked very well he walked Tim's a great guide walked us right in uh, with the trees as a blind really as we approached try not to step on any sticks you know we didn't take our boots off which sometimes works good with socks but we just were careful moved in and uh, got within a very comfortable range for a recurve. And it was downhill and the sun kind of was beating down on these boars even so, so they were kind of in a, you know, uh, they couldn't see as well to look up. And we're right up really on the top of the crest of this hill. If you just kind of pan up here and see how steep this is. Uh, but they had found a little gully that they were uh, gonna take a little siesta in. And we were able to sl slip up on this, uh, Nice red boar. He's really got a reddish hue. I like him. And uh, made a shot. He ran, went a little ways, came over here, um, and we just wanted to follow it up quick and put another arrow in him. So he didn't go far and uh, actually kind of tumbled down the hill here. Uh, Tim had to stop him before he got all the way to the bottom because that would make it a lot harder to drag up. And look down there, Tim, or uh, uh, Alex, and see how uh, that ravine would have been an additional 100 yards of trying to get him out so uh good catch to our guide tim and uh, thank you tim yep. really happy to have this nice uh, european look he's got a different kind of a face a little more creamier face good nippers on him and cutters and he's got a long head and a straight tail he's just this color phase but he's really different and a nice uh, i bet he's oh a good 160 if I exaggerate, 190 pounds. Yeah, he might go he's, he's, 180, he, 185. Okay, well, now we heard it from our guy. Perfect. 180, 185, which is a nice boar. Good eating, too. Great boar. Thank you so much. Yep. Swing around, and uh, we want to see uh, Tim in this shot. Thank you, Tim. Tim, yep. you're a great guy. Yep. Thank At you. the Double D My Ranch. My the pleasure. Double D Ranch. Double D Ranch in MacArthur, Ohio. You're not going to regret coming here. You really it's won't. A great time. Yes. Matthew gonna hunt him? Or, or easy, it's a small one. Matthew's gonna shoot a pig. Right behind that front shoulder, take your time. Alright, there's a little, they're little, they're little though. That's what I said. Okay. There's a big, big one coming. Big, big one. Man, tuck that right up tight to that back of that shoulder. Shoot the shoulder. You could shoot the shoulder, Matthew. Get right up on that shoulder. Good. Just calm down. <laughs> he gets hyper, man. You get him hyper. I want the big red one. I don't see it. We got. There's a bunch more coming. There. Is, you know what? I think that. I think that red one's there. I. I think the red one's there. I'm telling you right now. There. Oh no, that's a small one. Okay, what's behind it? They're all small. We wait. 
This is the same batch of pigs that was soon. How about that one in the black one? That's small. Is the black one small? No, that ain't small. That's decent. That's decent, Matthew. That's decent. It ain't that big. The bullshit. That's a good one. It's got balls. So? That's a good one, Matthew. You're not going to be able to do it now. They're all about the same size. They're small. Okay. Black one's a hundred pounder. Hey, let me whack it. No, not now. Not now, Matthew. They ain't really that big. No, they're small, I said. Here comes a guy. He's coming. He kicked them around. I thought there's nothing down there. No. Nope. There's nothing. The guy, the guy just kicked him around. You want to try the black one? You should have shot it right there. They follow that fence. What's that? You cut up and get there. All right, come on. No. No. Small. Here comes here's the red one. Here's the red one. That's not what he's talking about. No, that's small. We got one. We dropped the one. And then that piece hit. Holy. That big set. He's going to die. Yeah. My, that's not mine bleeding. Mine's bleeding too, isn't it? That was Rick. Well, we're working our way back towards the camp and uh, fortunately the guides have gone up with four-wheelers and uh, I've gotten our boars out of the uh, Mifflin Mountains here and we're not having to carry them down but you can see some of the guys down below and uh, we're cutting across actually a little bit too steep of an area but we're gonna make our way back down uh, to the main trail which is a little smoother.